Alright, it's time to jump back into the ones game a little bit. I played some matches against Scrub Killer recently, and it's made me want to get back into a couple of ones games to climb back into the top 100. So let's jump into the games, see if we can get some good commentary and insight in how I'm playing the game. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> All right, for the first game, we got Joker, 1472. 60 ping seems pretty good. Went far far right on that. So I'm going to get a free goal for that as well. Yeah, that's just a kickoff goal. It's going to happen, as you guys know, if you've watched any 1v1 series. Just uh, unlucky uh, turn of events. Basically, just praying that you get the right direction. Seems to heal. It seems he's, uh, he's always going right, so I'm going to go left to counter that. Nice little flick. You need to do, do too much there. All I need to do is just wait for him to be off his line a little bit. He's trying to do like a few turns to try and make me second guess, but I'm not really paying too close att attention to um, him if he's going to turn there because he can't really turn. So I'm not like worried about that at all. This could work out for us. I'm going to fake this. Make him have to pop off the backboard. Pop it behind him. Should be open. Nice. So right there, I'm just trying to posture for... Uh, him going for this clear because he thinks I might go right for the, right, the direct shot. So I'm just going to force him to hit that into an awkward spot that he doesn't want to. He's still going left. He hasn't really learned to uh, change it up. So I'm just going to keep doing that. This might work if I just wait here. Make him, little, make him panic a little bit. Try to go for the bump and touch the ball there. That way I could lead back to my corner. Oh, he went right away. That's, that's on me. I definitely could have jumped right there. I just thought because he jumped off the wall, he wouldn't be able to recover fast enough for the shot. So I tried to stay a little patient and wait for the ball to spill into uh, a position for me. But all right, I'll take this boost so he can't get full after he chases me down. Let him go across. That's totally fine. Try to go for the immediate shot because it's definitely open because he's chasing there. That's a good, a good flick to the top right as well. I, I went a little bit too far out of my line uh, to save that. So a couple mistakes. Allowing pretty open goals for him. Not really, not, Nothing that he's really done to like outplay me yet, I would say. But, I mean, that wasn't outplay because I was out of position. But more so just out of a mistake. Who does here? I bump him. He does, did get a touch. He did waste quite a bit of boost on this as well. I'm just going to back that off. Pop it around him. Gonna stay with it. That's fine. I don't think he got that boost yet. I don't think it's going to spawn. I'm trying to stay with the ball, but he has no boost. He's going to back off now. There we go. I'm going to take this off my line for a second and then chip it back in. I think I have to save it. Pop it over him. Should have a free goal now because he went for an early challenge. So I'm just trying to make him uh, save the ball there and waste a bunch of his boost into the net. Pop it. Pop it pretty high so that way it's pretty awkward for him uh, to save. And the ball spills out to a good spot. He started to learn that his kickoffs need to change a little bit. Try to put it behind him. It's a little bit awkward. He's actually going to get the boost advantage over that because I went for the early shot. I shouldn't have went for the early shot there. I'm going to go for the early challenge though because I haven't done that yet. As you can see, it did work. Let me get the, uh, the free goal because of it. I wouldn't say it's free, but it is pretty risky to go for those challenges. Sometimes putting those in... Uh, randomly is good. That's because it sometimes can lead to uh, uh, to a goal. That was a, a situation where I knew that he could shoot if I didn't go for that. I didn't really put it in a great spot. I knew that he would wait for the delay on the shot there. Might hit that too hard. Let him go for the clear. I don't want to waste too much boost. He's going to get a goal though because I went too too heavy on the uh, the play to get a demo there. Uh, so not a great not a great position there. I should have uh, waited for him to clear that ball. Once it was out of position of scoring, I should have just went for the boost. Played the fact that he was going to um, have that clear and play ahead of the ball. But Go for a bump on him afterwards. I did miss the goal, but hopefully I can turn this in fast enough. There we go. Wasn't the greatest and cleanest of, of catches, but I knew I had time. Yeah, I think if he spawned either side, it would have been okay. Um, the right side was definitely better for us, though. So I'm going to pick up a pad here. Take a back corner. 
just be open for us. He went way too heavy into the demo there. I was definitely going to beat him to the race for the boost. And we ended up just avoiding him slightly. And that overcommitment to the corner is definitely going to give us a lot of space to score an open net. So we'll take it. Take a 50-50 from here. Him, he's going to try and stay with this. I'm not going to waste my 12 or 13 boost here. Just because I don't want to uh, give him a position where he can take the ball for free. And I have zero boost. That could be bad. That is bad. <laughs> I, I should know by now. 1v1 players, they always they always go aggressively into those corners. I should just play that. Play the fake. Because it, it really um, can throw them into a, a really bad position. Might stay on this. Good save, but I get the boost. Let him touch this. Put it on target. It's going to be really awkward for him. He's very low boost. Didn't, didn't shoot it too well, though. I fake this at the wall. Off the corner. Go for the shot. He's pretty off his line once again, so I'm just going to keep keep this starve going. There we go. Nice, nice flip reset. He's, I think he jumped off the side wall, which is not really a good position to go for those saves because he's um, going to have to jump outwards. Um, you can't really get really uh, any verticality whenever you're in that position. He might shoot this immediately right after this. It's actually good for us. I'll pop it off the behind uh, behind me. He's definitely gonna get that boost, but you might think we're pretty low. I'm just gonna fake it a little bit. So he does here. It's off target, but I can still jump for this and hopefully get the clear and shoot right away. I can't shoot right away, but he can't get the boost. I think he's pretty low. So once he turned to the right there, it's a pretty free flick to the far left. It's sort of what he did earlier to me when I went far uh, far left with the uh, the big boost. But pretty good first game. You know, 1v1 is um, is interesting. I wouldn't say it's... Um, like it is helpful for certain things and definitely for noticing when you overcommit and stuff like that. But if you already know those kind of things, you can kind of reflect upon those within uh, 2v2 and 3v3 where you have those moments. And it, it definitely can help you get... Um, more experience with having one-on-one -on -one moments with uh, an opponent, even in 2v2 or 3v3. It's very rare in 3v3, but I'd still say that uh, doing some 1v1 games and having those experiences is definitely helpful to uh, to get in a better position when you have those opportunities to actually score and score more often. Right, we got game number two. We got Zarma RL. Let's see how it goes. It's fine. I shoot that immediately. Make it make it so I can get this mid boost, hopefully. He's probably gonna turn as soon as possible, but that's okay. But definitely gives me a better position. There we go. Once again, he's very low boost now. And it's open. Yeah, so he was very low boost the whole time. I was just trying to watch for where he was gonna turn. He tried to go for the, the back corner boost and noticed that he could probably have an opening. Uh, at the back of his net if he did that. So he uh, decided to back off. Get the mid boost here. He's low boost. Oh my goodness. He do he dove at me pretty heavily there and I just was waiting for him to get the 50-50. He I think he second guessed himself. It's definitely a stressful situation to be in um, coming at me like that because there's a good chance that I'll probably... Um, do something to outplay him there because I am the one in control here but uh he's so far a little bit panicky on defense when I'm sitting near the ball so I just needed to keep doing that be a presence on the ball don't do anything really too crazy because if he's gonna outplay himself I can just take advantage of that and stay with it he might shoot this Im immediately it's like a 50 50 trying to get back for it though I uh, couldn't couldn't quite get the uh, the amount of boost. I probably need another boost pad to get back in time. But I tried to go over that early aggressive ch uh, aggressive challenge, and unfortunately did not pay off. That's quite all right, especially with the heavy touch. I'm gonna go back to me. Also, my my play here. Let's stay close to the ball. Off the backboard, pretty awkward for him. He didn't really know what to do there because I don't, people don't usually normally shoot like that in 1v1. And that position is very, very awkward to be in. Um, you need to either uh, sit on your goal line or um, 
or go for the challenge. He didn't either, and I tried to get him in the middle of the position where he would uh, be uncomfortable. Let's go a little bit high on the ball. Whenever someone does that, you just got to go a little bit higher on the ball. Um, and then that way, they'll be in a position where they're super awkward. Also, he really overcommitted there. I'm just going to demo him on his, uh, on his approach back to the ball. You need to be really, really careful uh, diving in like that on the wall because it's usually going to feed into the player who's up on the wall because they have uh, gravity helping them a little bit. But... Probably won't be able to shoot it fast enough. He might have shot it fast enough, actually. Ugh! Please! Okay, we got it. <laughs> it's open. Okay, I'm just going to shoot that bottom left. I mean, I could have shot that a lot stronger to the right side, but... Um, I'm surprised we saved that. <laughs> That's a, a last second save for sure. Oh, that's a good. That's like a good, good delay. It should be an open net for him. I definitely uh, well, it was a little bit off my line that I'm used to, and then because he also delayed it. Yeah, right there, my flip was a little strange. Because I delayed it, he uh, got the 50/50 back into his car. Oh my gosh. Should be okay here. I should have went right for the boost instead of touching the ball again. It was a bit greedy. That's going to be an open net for him again, too, because I uh, I can definitely play around the ball that he has there with 100 boost. Meanwhile, it's a big risk to try and keep the ball position and uh, the boost there. Let's see what he does here. I'm just going gonna, gonna to keep pretending that I'm not going, and then I'm going to go at the last second. Now I'll get the mid boost. pop this up for myself so I can follow it up really quickly. I'd be fast enough that he can't save it. Good save. It's around him. Good save. I take this back with myself here. I might have been fast enough to go right in, but unfortunately I didn't shoot it well enough off that flick. Um, it bounced up pretty nicely for me, and he tried to stay aggressive on the ball, but I knew he was going to do that, so I just tried to uh, pop it up, keep it close. Go for the back corner. Try to go for the immediate shot. I ended up missing off the backboard, but this could be bad. Um, I might have uh, thrown there a little bit. Ugh! Okay, we're good. No, no boost. I thought I had 12. I, I definitely misplayed that. I could have had a, a 12 boost pad right here. If I went on, straight on that boost pad right in the middle of the goal there, I could have had 12 after the save. But a bit of a misplay. Oh my. Go for a bump on me, maybe. Out. Be able to shoot that bottom left. Oh, so close. He's get the boost too. So that's a mis big misplay by me. I could have scored there. Go for the corner boost. Oop. That's okay. I did waste a lot of boost to do that, though. Wait for him to touch the ball here. Nice 50-50, and it should be open. So, yeah, we, we played that pretty well. Um, we just waited for him to try and go for the uh, the pop there, and we had 30 boost, probably more boost than he expected me to have in that situation. So I used that to my knowledge. Um, it's a bit of a guess, a bit of an assumption that he thinks that I'm low there, but 30 boost is pretty good to be able to come off the wall like that and make a save. Uh, he played pretty well, especially after going down so many goals. So pretty good game. Let's go into the last game, see how it goes. Hopefully we can get three wins here. Um, I haven't really played too many 1v1s lately, and I have like won and lost quite a few back and forth that I have played. Um, but when I'm really, really focusing, I should be able to climb a little bit higher into top 100 than where I am right now, I feel like. But, you know, I've always, I've always been known not to be the most mechanical player, which is, which is fine, because I really don't focus on mechanics, um, in the videos. But I think I can definitely hold my own still against some of the top 1v1 players. I mean, the games against Scrub, I, <laughs> I don't want to talk about those. I was not playing the best, and either was Scrub, but he still obviously came on top. Um, well played to him. I'm trying to get more into 1v1s again. I don't really like them that much, as I've talked about before, just because um, I think that they're um, not the most helpful for uh, high-level gameplay, at least um, at least when it comes to uh, 2v2 and 3v3.
more so 3v3. All right, for the last game, we got Zarma again, who did pick it up, like I said, in the last match quite a bit. So I'm expecting him to come out swinging in this in this next game. Okay, he missed. I actually like, got a little confused. I went a little bit further left um, than I would have liked to. What a save. Up at the corner. He's going to get my boost here, so I'm just trying to pick up a few boost pads. Way back. He expected me to be right on the ball, but I was not. Watch out for the bump. Ah, I knew it. I knew it was happening. I tried to I tried to call it right before it happened, and unfortunately it happened right at the exact same moment. So I tried to pop over. Um, but it's dangerous to jump when you're low boost like that. So I didn't really want to have to jump. Good save once again. Pretty last second pop. There we go, big fakes. He likes to go into those aggressive challenges in the midfield. I kind of like when he does that because it's um, pretty telegraphed what he's going to do. I can tell he's going to turn. So I just back off the ball at the last second. Ends up uh, working out for us. He's going for a lot of these delayed um, pickoffs too. Look at the boost here. Okay, he's leaving the ball so I know I have space. Big flicks. Yes, sir. So right there, I know because he backed off. Once I see him drive to the right, you'll see right here, um, right there, I know that I have a lot more space. I go for that uh, delayed um, boost into the, the backflip flick. The backflip flicks are always really good if you can get the, b the ball to scoop a little bit up on the car before you do it, because that's where you get that extra power. That should be a shot on target because he didn't expect me to jump so early. I didn't want to do a double jump there because I might miss, and then I'm going to be way up into the, uh, the stratosphere on his side of the field. So instead, what I do is I just go for, um, I go for, I'm going to bump him here. It's a good play to take it around me. Stay, keep this close. That way I don't uh, over commit the ball into a position where he can use his 100 boost. Once again, here's a position where I'm going to keep the ball close. I'm wasting a lot of boost here, but he's probably going to chip it pretty wide, so I know that. He's probably going to stay with this too, so I know that as well. I'm just going to try and position in a spot where I don't put myself too far out of the play, but also still keep a bit of pressure uh, and uh, poise so that I don't overcommit. Uh-oh. Yeah, he went under me. That was very smart. I probably should have uh, not pinched it off the post like that. I tried to get a pinch up the wall. Um and out, but it ended up just popping my car off the wall as well, so I couldn't catch the, my wheels. Let's go for that really wide challenge. Next time, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for that um, that same thing, but next time, uh, go a little bit to the side, which is what I did in that first kickoff. Make it really awkward for him. Yeah, he didn't really know what to do there once I uh, went immediately up because those situations are really tough. He needs to be like ready for any shot on target. And since he's off his line, he's going to be uh, struggling to get a save there. Went for a little bit of a delayed kickoff. This should be pretty safe for us. I'm going to fake that because he's not going. Oh, no. I think he uh, panicked that I was double jumping there. So I guess my flip kind of um, scared him a little bit. So we'll take that. But he's also really um, in a bad spot because he went a little bit too heavy on the ball. We got another free goal there. He tried to go for the uh, early chip across the ball. Whenever I see someone do that, you can definitely tell they're doing something different because of the way they flip. But, like, I can see their nameplate move pretty far over. So I usually just dodge a little bit farther over to the ball. Because they're, they're committed to a point where they cannot not touch the ball. So I know what's going to happen. I'm going to go immediately because he's not going to expect that. I'm not going to go for the immediate shot here. I'm going to go for the chip instead. Fake this as well. Bump him forward. It's a good bump. He's going to get that mid-boost. If I go for it, I'm probably going to get beat, and then I'm going to be in a position where I can't really follow it too well. That's a good bump. That's also a good bump on me, though. This boost is going to spawn. I wanted to focus on that, so I didn't lose out on the, the boost advantage. I knew what he was doing. I was just going to watch for him because he has to go for the ball. So I wasn't looking at the ball at all there. I was just waiting for him to go up for the challenge. And then I go for the bump on the side of him. Um, in that situation, 
he has to make a save. So putting it, putting all of his cards in one basket, or well, that is not how that's <laughs> that is not what that that phrase is. All of his eggs in one basket. I know that he's going to have to uh, do that play. Okay, so I'm gonna waste my boost to go for that touch. He's gonna have the ball for free because I hit it to mid mid boost. But because of that, I get some space to get my own boost. And I saw that he's gonna go for the chip. And we get another goal here. So pretty good set of games. I mean, I'm I'm feeling definitely pretty good. Whenever I don't touch ones for a while, I um I definitely feel much worse. But I warmed up a little bit before this. I actually lost to a player named Gavin before I recorded. Um, he was like 16. I don't know where he's at. He was like 1630 something. And at the time, I was like 30, 100 points below him. But we're moving up here pretty good. I think Gavin. Yeah, he's probably up here somewhere. There he is. So he's signed at 1644 now because of the one win he got on me. I. I think that we could easily get into the 1600s. We're at 1561. Not easily, obviously, but I think we could definitely climb a little more. We're already sitting at around 74, 75, it looks like, which is pretty good. We're at 83 right now because the points haven't updated. But um, if you guys want to see more 1v1s, let me know. I know I don't really play them too often. I don't really like them, like I said, but I will play them because I think a lot of people do learn a lot more because it's an individual level thing. Um, so if you guys do, do enjoy more of those, let me know. Um, I don't think... <laughs> I want to go for like the top 10 here it's super sweaty up there and the, the queues take forever but hope you guys enjoyed the episode uh definitely let me know like i said if you want to see more 1v1s until next time have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one